Making stuff is fun. Combining everyday items into new things is probably one of my favorite things to do. And when a video game gets it right, oh baby. I loved playing Dying Light back in the day because it combined making epic weapons with parkour. Which, if you didn't know, was actually the first thing I did on YouTube over 10 years ago. Well, today, Dying Light 2 is out and it's better than ever. To celebrate the release, they sent us some blueprints to try and recreate some of the weapons in game. Oh, I guess there's two of them. Hey Bogdan, you wanna, you wanna do a video with me? Heck yeah, what are we so, doing? So Dying Light sent us some blueprints. Oh man, I love Dying Light. It's like a pipe with a All saw right. blade. Would you call this like a, a vice hammer? Do it. All right. Looks like I need some kind of handle. I think that's a table vise. Some scrap metal and the screws. This shouldn't be too hard to make. Just like our big shop, Dying Light 2 is a massive open world game, which lets you roam the city with unprecedented freedom. And in the game, you can press a button to scan your environment to find exactly what you need. I wish I could do that. Hey, wait a sec. Whoa, is that the handle? Well, good thing in the game, you can use parkour to scale any building. Okay, so it says here, we need a saw blade, a gas pipe, some gas fittings, and metal parts. And just like in the game, you gotta scrounge for parts to build your weapons. I think there should be some good stuff in here. Yeah, exactly what I need, perfect. All right, I got the handle, now I just need a vise. I don't think anyone's using this. Perfect, all right, vise, handle. There should be some gas fittings over here. It's gonna work. What should do as well? Ah. That should work. All right. Now I just need some metal parts and some screws. Grip tape, grip tape. Oh, perfect. And I need some metal strapping. There we go. I think there might be something in that bin up there. Perfect, saw blade. Now how do I get down? Aha, I think that's everything. Just need to find this piece and the little clip. That'll work. Perfect. All right, let's build this thing. Looks like it's actually only using part of the vise. So, first things first. That's that part. That guy goes there. And those guys attach it. Now that I've salvaged all my parts, let's start building. I think I'm gonna start with the handle. Last time I checked, building stuff like this in Dying Light was actually kind of easier. Wonder why. That kind of slides right in. I think if I bend this, I can kind of use it to hold the axe in place. Nice. <laughs> now I think we need to attach it to our blade. Looks pretty much just like the game. We're gonna cut apart this clamp and use that as the second mounting point at the top. A little bit shorter. Okay, we got all the pieces cut. Now we need to weld them together. Gotta get rid of that and put this there instead. <sighs> Perfect. Let's go put it together. Last step, the handle wrap. That'll do some damage. Ha, ah, that looks awesome. Time, Time to, to test, test it, it out. out.
Well, let's see what these can do. Shall we uh, try a zombie head analog, also known Think as so. a uh, melon? Analog zombie head, here I come. Let's see what I can do, Bogdan. <laughs> nice, clean cut. You sharpen that saw blade? All right, let's see what happens with mine. Great. Woo! Yes. Nice. It's got some blunt power there. Woo wee! Pineapple? Let's do it. Oh, we're gonna be so <laughs> sticky this. after this. Look how clean that cut is. Damn. All right, Bogdan. Well, obviously, since yours is a bladed weapon, fruit stand no chance. But what about something a bit harder, like this anatomically correct zombie kettle? Let's see uh, who, who destroys it first. Ready? Go! That cuts straight through it. Look at this. <laughs> All right, I want to destroy the keyboard. Well, if you got a keyboard, I got a full laptop. Watch this. Oh, the keys went flying. Woo! All right, let's see how this laptop fares. Woo! Woo, he got it out. Okay. All right, those electronics stood no chance. Let me say we destroy some watermelons. I'm gonna set mine on top oh, of this cup. glass jar. Ready? Oh boy. Hurt! I didn't break, you didn't break the cup! All right, let's see if I can do that in one swing, Buck. Yeah. We have a blunt weapon. Nice. <laughs> All right, James, two items left. I want the piggy bank. All right, the VHS. Ah! That nice! Went, that went pretty deep. <laughs> I think that's a uh, win. I think that counts. Say goodbye, piggy bank. Yeah! Woo! Nice. All right. Everything we tested here proves these things are pretty durable, pretty yes. good. But Dylan's actually going to cook us up some real anatomically correct-ish zombie heads. Nice. So while he's doing that, I think, just like in the game, we should add some modifications to these to make them better. Oh, yeah. I've got a few ideas, how about you? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, for a cutting weapon, you can use a little more cutting. All right, let's do that. Let's do it. Hey guys, it's me, Big Daddy D-Fish. So while they're out there making weapons, I thought to myself, what's a better thing for them to test them on than fruit? A zombie head. So as you can see, we have a human skull. Uh, it's not a real human skull or so it seems, real zombies, scientifically, their brains are made from blue raspberry gummies. One for me. Oh. There we go. Obviously a zombie is more than just a skull. So we're gonna take this guy here, upside down, and it's going to fit right into a zombie mask. And then from there, we're gonna start filling it up with some green gummies. Make sure that it's anatomically correct to uh, real life zombies. We have to have something that's going to gel it all together, right? Obviously, I was going to fill it up with green ooze. And of course, this being Hacksmith, I made my own. We have a mixture of glucose, sugar, and sorbitol, and we're gonna bring this up to a boil. We have our hot syrup, we have our gelatin mixture. I'm gonna start pouring this gelatin mixture into our hot syrup. And now, for the food coloring. Look at that. Now that's real life zombie guts. Now here comes the fun part. We're gonna pour this hot ooze into the zombie heads with the green gummy frogs, with the blue raspberry brains. And because that we're here in Canada, we're going to take these zombie heads and we're going to cool them outside. Uh, it's a natural refrigerator, if you will. Cool. So this is the elemental special attack. There's a fire and an ice mod. I'm gonna start with a fire mod. All right, first I need some fuel. Some Red Bull. Ah, butane. This will work perfect. Ah, oh, sweet, a bleed mod upgrade. This will be awesome. I wonder where I can find some of this stuff. Hey, there's something up there. That's perfect. I need a hose here. All right, we need a few more parts. OK. 
Okay. We need a brass fitting um, this way. I need the end of a blowtorch. I should do. I think I'm ready to put it all together now. Perfect. Got everything I need to upgrade my weapon. All right. I think I've got all the parts I need now. I guess we have. Oh, well, what? Why don't you put your toolbox you in the, the work? Oh, crap, it's nighttime. You better get to the safe house. Yeah, let's go. The day, night cycle, and dying light 2 brings extra challenges. A dramatic shift in the world as you turn from hunter during the day to prey at night. Face the upcoming threat or run away to survive. Will you survive the night? side of it. Okay. Let's double check to make sure it works. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a flamethrower. We're ready to put together the bleed mod. Let's set this aside for now. First things, we need to chop these rings off of our throwing knives. That's terrifying. So we got this, we got our hose. Can I have this mounted like We're missing the pressure gauge. I think we have an extra one over here. Okay. Air compressor's over here. We can see in the blueprint there's some copper wire holding these blades on as well. So let's add that next. Our knife sprocket with the copper is complete. Next up, let's mount the motor. Speed controller and battery. Quick motor test. Plug this in. There we go. Motor spins. There we go. Okay. Same done. Let's try it out one more time. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Leaks a little bit, but uh, it's the apocalypse. I think we're ready for night this time. And there we go, our slicer mod is complete. This thing is terrifying. If you'd like to see the full schematic diagram, make sure to check out our maker.io link in the description below. Let's upgrade our weapon. And for now, I'm just gonna use magnets. Take this electrical wire in place so it doesn't get caught in the blade. Check that out. I think we're ready for nighttime. Nice. All right, our weapons are done. That looks pretty awesome, James. I see you did the, the fire mod, very classic. Yeah, I think it's gonna work pretty good. Nice. Now, what is that? So this is the spinny, bleedy mod. This thing spins, oh. it's got three throwing knives on the end, uh. and it, uh, it'll cut apart just about anything. Well, you took something terrifying and made it even more terrifying. Well, I think it's, uh, it's time to test it. I, I, I think you should go first. W just... What should we test, though? I don't know. I have an idea. How about you test them on these Perfect green brains. Nice. What do you think about that? And hey, do you remember those interns that went missing that used to work here and you were always wondering where they went? Yeah. Well, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> here they are. <laughs> Ken and Barbie, ready to go. All right. Let's see what the bleed mod does to a zombie brain. Oh boy. All right, here goes nothing. Uh, uh, oh, look at that. Check that out. That zombie brain is no longer in one piece. All right, I think, I think you win for the, the scariest uh, weapon mod. <laughs> There's zombie guts all over me. All right, I gotta, I gotta try this flamethrower mod. Let's get started on the heads. And I'll light it with my trusty mini saber. Woo-wee. Nice. 
Ah, his flesh is literally leaking out of his skin. Should, should I try hitting it now? Woo! I felt skull there. That is a tough zombie head. You know, I've always thought I wanted to be in a zombie apocalypse, but the sensation of hitting that is just, it, it's weird, man. All right, let me take a few whacks at it. Oh my goodness, that is disgusting. All right. You got, you got to burn the dead, you know? I think that's an absolute win. All right, let's see what my bleeder mod can do. Oh, that actually worked really well. Ugh. Oh, you're like skinning him, man. Oh, look at that. Oh! Look at that. That, that looks, looks so weird, but just the mouth. So gross. <laughs> oh, I heard the skull there. Skull's broken. Pretty sure he's dead. Yeah, that skull. Oh, that skull is clean in too. Look at that. I wanna try to like chop the top of his head. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, you cut him in half. Ah! You can literally see the cross section. Of his skull. Look at this. Heck yeah. That is one dead volatile. Oh, look at that piece of brain and skull and Alright Bogdan, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you that. I, I think your weapon is superior. Hmm. But since I already made the elemental fire, I decided to also make the elemental freezing mod. What I've done is I've actually taken a CO2 cylinder, done some high pressure fittings, and basically we can blast snowy ice out of this end. Let's see if we can freeze this head. So to activate it, you just gotta twist the canister. CO2 isn't actually cold enough to freeze a friggin' zombie head. And even if this was liquid nitrogen like it is in the game, it takes a lot more than spraying a little liquid nitrogen on something to freeze something fully. But to get this effect, we're actually gonna dunk this entire thing in a bucket of liquid nitrogen for the next few hours. So we can hit this and hopefully have zombie chunks splatter and crack and, and break everywhere. It's gonna be awesome, so. Okay, you guys ready? Oh, oh it's pouring out. Wow. We're, we're only getting the top half of the head. No, let's pour some more. Let's put more in. Pour it right in, yeah. Freeze them from the inside. Yeah, that's good from frozen. Oh, you can oh, feel it doesn't so jiggle chunk. anymore. Uh. Ooh, it's, it's crackling. <laughs> Look at him. Smash it again. All right, all right, let me have a go. Oh. That worked so well. Oh, look at him, look at him, look at him. Uh, I think he's dead. Woo! That was freaking sweet. Oh man. Elemental ice freezing. Look at these, look at these crystal shards of jello. That was awesome. That was so much fun. Making the zombie heads. We've, we've never really done this before, but we should probably do it more often because that was, that was super cool. The frozen bits of skull just like flying out. And the terrifying spinny knives. 
Huge thank you to Techland for sponsoring this video. Check out Dying Light 2, Stay Human, and explore the vast open world of the city. Download it today using our link below. Thanks for watching. You wanna play some Dying Light 2? Heck yeah! Let's get it going.